Dreyfus, have you seen Grim around at all? Uh, no, really? Uh, Where has he got to? He might be in the testing chamber, I guess. And Oh, yeah, you are here. What have you found? Look at this. Grim, what have you found? It's like a, a crazy radioactive diamond ore. This looks incredible. I think we're going to... Do you mind if I mine it? This looks awesome. I want to see what happens. This looks amazing. Let's get right up close to it and see what happens. It looks it looks really cool. It's kind of glowing different colors. Looks all diamondy. So I'm going to mine it up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, what? It, McDuck. <laughs> What? You and diamonds? Where did you come from? How did you how did you get sealed in there? I haven't seen you in ages. Oh, I, I think we know where you've been then. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today we're going to be delving headfirst into the Lucky Ores mod which adds in exactly what it says on the tin. Ores that randomly generate throughout your world that add both good and bad luck into your mining experience in a similar way to the Lucky Block mod. So without further ado, we're going to take this minecart right here to the Lucky Mine that is just happens to be below our lab here and take a look at what these ores are all about. Now I would take Grim with me but it's kind of dangerous same as Treoros he really really wants to see these lucky ores but I'll bring you one back buddy it's okay I'll bring you one back to the service but anyway let's hop into this cart right here and press this button and we should be taken on a magical ride down to the lucky mine it should be perfectly safe we haven't tried this out too much but here we go oh oh wow wow I thought this was gonna okay it's all right I thought it was gonna be a bad experience then but um yeah, this is going to be a bit awkward. Treoros built this, like, last minute, and it, it's kind of rickety, kind of old, and let's see where we land. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But, um, oh, there's a ladder here. That's perfectly fine as well. Right then. So the first thing we're going to look at are two brand new ores that have been added in, which are ruby and sapphire. Probably ores that you've seen added into quite a lot of mods. But these are, hey, bat, how you doing, buddy? Hey. How you doing? We haven't seen you in a while. But anyway, <laughs> Ruby Ore and Sapphire Ore just get mined up just like normal and will present you with either a Ruby or a Sapphire. And they look really cool. They're just like a red and a blue diamond. And um, they all have armor sets and they have tools as well. So let's quickly don the Ruby and see what it looks like and see what kind of armor it gives us. It actually gives us one less than full armor. And this is nice. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Nice and bright red. And then we also have the tool set as well. Now the Ruby Sword actually does seven attack damage so it's exactly the same as a diamond sword and then we've got the pickaxe it does the same damage as well and all the rest too so let's take our diamond pickaxe and put it away and take the ruby pickaxe and we're going to use that for the rest of the mining expedition we're going to be taking part in uh let's put all of this back and then have a look at the sapphire set as well so the sapphire a very nice blue color i'm not sure if it's more powerful it is exactly the same so i think they're the same rarity but it's just a, a matter of preference of what you want to look like do you want to be on the red team do you want to be on the blue team or talking about that do you want to be on the green team because this this one actually adds in a really cool emerald set which i think is quite um it needs to be in minecraft green looks amazing and emeralds are only used for bad villager trades at the moment so let's take a quick look in here obviously we've got the emerald and then we've got the emerald set too which has the same attack power as diamonds personally i think it should be a little bit higher because emeralds are so damn hard to find why are you so hard to find i literally cannot find you anywhere <laughs> So emeralds, yep, yeah, should be a little bit more powerful maybe, but it still looks pretty damn awesome and looking very nice and green. Now, personally, I like the red set, so we are going to don the red set for the rest of this review. So let's have a quick look at this and take it for the rest of our adventure. Looks very nice. Look at that. Yes, beautiful. Right then, let's move on. And we're going to go down here and discover some very, very shiny ores right here. These are some of the lucky ores in this mod. We've got lucky coal, lucky iron, lucky gold, and lucky diamond as well. Now, all of these are very special. This is normal iron ore, but if you're very lucky, you will find this amazing shiny version. And this actually gives off light as well. So this is giving us like the same light as glowstone, I think, which is pretty cool. So you can be able to see it in a cave from very far off. You'll be able to see it at the bottom of a ravine really well and when you mine it it will actually give you the lucky kind of coal one doesn't give you too much of a difference but um you do get more coal per um per mine as well per block that you mine so let's do this and see how much we get from that's four five six and see how much coal we get from that we got 11 from six ores that's not too bad whatsoever and then we also have the lucky iron so let's mine this up and look you get tons of iron and it is pre-smelted as well how 
cool is that? You don't have to waste time smelting it whatsoever. Obviously, this is going to be rarer than your normal ores. But let's mine up the gold one. And this one has exactly the same as well. It gives you less than the iron, but you don't have to smelt it. And gold is a little bit more rare. Anyways, we've got 19 from that. And I think there is six ores in total. So 19 smelted iron from six lucky iron ores is pretty damn good and then 11 smelted gold blocks from six lucky gold ores and then we've got diamonds as well which is the most exciting one let's have a look here look at this we don't have to smelt them but we do get more per ore so for those six and as you can see look it went really dark or a little bit darker when the ores disappeared so you can see how much light they give off and we got 14 diamonds from six lucky diamond ores so they're definitely worth finding and they can help you out by just lighting up your world so if you look down the bottom of a ravine and see lots of shininess is definitely worth going down there so let's put these away for a second um let's put them in a chest up here because we're going to need to have a look at something else in a second so let's put these here and those there as well and we're going to have just as a quick note the ruby pickaxe is actually pretty good let's see how quick it mines it's not too bad whatsoever so definitely pick one of these if you can as well so the next thing we're going to look at is this over here which is mystical ore now you can see it kind of looks like a normal ore just like this iron one over here but it's kind of multicolored and really awesome look at this it's got little bits of red dark blue light blue lapis we've got iron in there we've got everything in here and this has a chance of dropping something rare and mystical when you mine it so we've got quite a few in here let's mine this up and see what we get we've got one piece of iron come on give us something mystical we've got a piece of ruby there which is really cool let's see what else we can get let's mine it all up we've got redstone uh, a sapphire an emerald piece of gold some coal which is probably the worst one you can get let's mine all of this up we've got a nice little stack here and see what we get in return we get some really nice things so it looks like you can get anything from coal all the way up to diamonds and also the new stuff as well so rubies and sapphires so from that little chunk there we got three iron four rubies one piece of redstone a single sapphire one emerald two gold ingots and some coal as well oh and a diamond as well which is pretty damn cool too but now we're going to get onto this which is the lucky lucky ore it's flashing different colors if it flashes red it's going to be dangerous and it's certainly is so we're going to put some of this stuff back just in case we lose it i'm also going to see what we can get from it as well now this chance or has 10 percent chance when you mine it of blowing up in your face so we have a lot of it here but it also has that other 90 percent chance is just a random item which you can get now it doesn't have to be mineable the ones with the mystical ore were all mineable so you had like redstone coal iron and all that but then you can get stuff like slime balls and um string and weird stuff from this so let's see how our luck is going to pan out in this one. I'm nervous. We have our ruby armor on and ready to go, but I'm nervous. Are you ready? Let's do this one. Okay. <laughs> Of course, we get the 10% chance blowing up straight away. Now, I'm going to go in close. And from that, we got the cobblestone, which is blown up from here. We've got some uh, rubies and we've got some gold as well. Let's see what else we can get. I'm nervous. I don't want this to happen again. What are the chances? Oh, we got gold from that one. What else can we get? We've got a diamond. We got a ruby. No, that's a sapphire. Another explosion. Oh, I'm not getting too lucky with these. You can get other stuff from... Oh, wow. That was a massive explosion. Calm down, please. Calm down. Right there. Let's try, try it a little bit more. This is dangerous, but it's kind of getting... Oh, I'm getting nice stuff. I'm getting some diamonds. You can get other weird stuff from this as well, but I don't think I'm finding any right now. Look at all this loot we've got. Of course, this will be quite rare as well. It's blown off this. Let's put this back. Come on. Let's fix it up down here. This is the mystical lucky mine, so we don't want to be wrecking everything. Here we go. We've got lots of stuff from here. We've got redstone. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Another explosion, which has actually destroyed the glowstone here. Let's see how lucky we can get. It's actually quite a powerful explosion as well. It's not going to be back quite far. What else have we got? It looks like we're not getting of the random stuff, which we usually get. And it's kind of freaking out right now. Look at that. <laughs> so weird. And I think I might have got it confused. It might be the mystical ore where you just get the random things. In this one where you get the, oh my goodness, the materials. But um, let's have a quick look at the rest of this. And let's quickly bump into, um, oh my god, I'm kind of stuck in here. That's weird. Really strange. But as you can see, 10% chance actually happens a little bit more often than you would like to be honest so let's grab some some more mystical ore and we are going to place some of this around and see if we can get any of the random stuff as well so let's fill this back up here right like this yes, all nice and proper here we go um let's fill up more of this as well so we just get loads of it and then we're gonna mine it and see if we can get any more random materials because you can get them i just haven't been that lucky as you've seen before i've just got exploded and not got any of the lucky items let's keep mining this up and see if we can get anything random Come on, show me something good. 
Come on, show me something good, please. Or something at least that's not an ore. We've got redstone, which seems to be the most random thing we've got so far. Diamonds, coal. There we go. We've got a slime ball. So you can get stuff. Um, slime ball's actually pretty rare because I don't know about you, but I always like making leads, especially in my modded survival, to keep my pets safe and stuff. And slimes are really hard to come across. So this is kind of a useful ore for me. So you can get slime balls. We've got lots of slime balls this time. See, so we get a little bit more lucky this time. We've also got nice, shiny loot as well now there's one more thing in this mod that you need to check out because it kind of helps with your whole mining experience and that is the grappling hook now to craft this you're going to need simple two sticks and three iron and this thing is really helpful because if you're stuck in a ravine like this and you want to get up you don't really want to use loads of ladders you don't really want to parkour your way up because it's very dangerous then you need the grappling hook. So let's go up here and then go up to um, right up there. Hopefully there's no monsters waiting for us. That would be quite terrible. But let's jump over this minecart. We're not going to need you anymore, buddy. And we're just going to go to the top here. And what you need to do is simply just right-click and press the forward button to the wall that you want to climb. So if you just right-click, it will do nothing. But if you press forward and right-click, it will start to grab the wall. And you can climb it just like Spider-Man. How? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Oh, my God. I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die. Get up. There we go. Fine. We've done it. That was that was so close We somehow lost a lot of health, but anyway, we managed to make it out now That is really helpful actually because um, yeah, you don't need to use ladders ladders are a pain to make You can just use this grappling hook. It doesn't seem to use durability either So when you've got it, you've got it for life It's really handy and you can use it in all kinds of situations as well You can be like smart parkour as well. Look at that Nice. So that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. Kind of a simple mod, but a really cool one as well. Just adds a lot more risk to your survival, but you can get really cool rewards as well. And if you want to check it out, then go to the description below and you can play it for yourself. Also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do go and subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. If you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated too. So thanks again for watching everyone, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye! <laughs>
or a sapphire and they look really cool they're just like a red and a blue diamond and um they all have armor sets and they have tools as well so let's quickly don the ruby and see what it looks like and see what kind of armor it gives us it actually gives us one less than full armor and this is nice look at that that looks beautiful nice and bright red and then we also have the tool set as well now the ruby sword actually does seven attack damage so it's exactly the same as a diamond sword and then we've got the pickaxe it does the same damage as well and all the rest too so let's take our diamond pickaxe and put it away and take the ruby pickaxe and we're going to use that for the rest of the mining expedition we're going to be taking part in uh let's put all of this back and then have a look at the sapphire set as well so the sapphire a very nice blue color i'm not sure if it's more powerful it is exactly the same so i think they're the same rarity but it's just a, a matter of preference of what you want to look like do you want to be on the red team do you want to be on the blue team or talking about that do you want to be on the green team because this this one actually adds in a really cool emerald set which i think is quite um it needs to be in minecraft green looks amazing and emeralds are only used for bad villager trades at the moment so let's take a quick look in here obviously we've got the emerald and then we've got the emerald set too which has the same attack power as diamonds personally i think it should be a little bit higher because emeralds are so damn hard to find why are you so hard to find i literally cannot find you anywhere <laughs> So emeralds, yeah, should be a little bit more powerful maybe, but it still looks pretty damn awesome and looking very nice and green. Now, personally, I like the red set, so we are going to don the red set for the rest of this review. So let's have a quick look at this and take it for the rest of our adventure. Looks very nice. Look at that yes beautiful right then let's move on and we're going to go down here and discover some very very shiny ores right here these are some of the lucky ores in this mod we've got lucky coal lucky iron lucky gold and lucky diamond as well now all of these are very special this is normal iron ore but if you're very lucky you will find this amazing shiny version and this actually gives off light as well so this is giving us like the same light as glowstone i think which is pretty cool so you can be able to see it in a cave from very far off you'll be able to see it at the bottom of a ravine really well and when you mine it it will actually give you the lucky kind of coal one doesn't give you too much of a difference but um you do get more coal per um per mine as well per block that you mine so let's do this and see how much we get from that's four five six and see how much coal we get from that we got 11 from six ores that's not too bad whatsoever and then we also have the lucky iron so let's mine this up and look you get tons of iron and it is pre-smelted as well how cool is that you don't have to waste time smelting it whatsoever obviously this is going to be rarer than your normal ores but let's mine up the gold one and this one has exactly the same as well it gives you less than the iron but you don't have to smelt it and gold is a little bit more rare anyways we've got 19 from that and i think there is six ores in total so 19 smelted iron from six lucky iron ores is pretty damn good and then 11 smelted gold blocks from six lucky gold ores and then we've got diamonds as well which is the most exciting one let's have a look here look at this we don't have to smelt them but we do get more per ore so for those six and as you can see look it went really dark or a little bit darker when the ores disappeared so you can see how much light they give off and we got 14 diamonds from six lucky diamond ores so they're definitely worth finding and they can help you out by just lighting up your world so if you look down the bottom of a ravine and see lots of shininess it's definitely worth going down there so let's put these 